Hello everyone, welcome back to Brian's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail. Today we are going to the state of Washington, North Bend, more specifically to the Little Sea hiking area. A man named Mohammed E. Abraham, who was only 20 years old, was last seen on August 15th. He was reported missing to the Belleville Police Department after failing returning to home in his home in Snoqualmie. As always, I'll have various maps up to help give you an idea of where all this took place. According to the Snoqualmie Police Department, they said that he was reportedly going to attend a club meeting at the Bellevue College, but instead attended it virtually while hiking in this little sea hiking area, which is pictured here with all these various pictures to give you an idea of the location. Mohammed, who went by Mo apparently, he is six feet, one inch tall. He weighs about 155 pounds. He's got brown hair, brown eyes. He's got scars on his eyebrows and possibly was wearing a green hoodie, gray pants, and dark colored shoes. According to reports, a family friend said that Mo had called his mom when his phone had only 1% battery left, asking her to pick him up at Torskun Park, which I'll have a map and picture of. Like I said, he was set to attend this club meeting at Bellevue College, but instead attended it virtually while hiking in this little sea area. The officials, Kings County Sheriff's Office, did not find him after an aerial search Friday in the North Bend area. The Snoqualmie Police Department, they said that they had also various ground searches out looking for him. Some of the most prudent information we have comes from the cell phone data. The authorities said that his phone was near the Snoqualmie Valley Trail in the I-90 Milepost 32 area before the battery died. However, they also said the it pinged about four miles long, three miles wide, complicating the search. Both the authorities and his family were confused about this situation because he was a very excited young man. He was about to move into an apartment near Bellevue College. It was definitely out of character not to contact his family. However, like we talked about earlier, his phone only had 1%. After the authorities examined the cell phone data before the phone died or was lost or was submerged in water, they sent out more helicopters, various teams on foot. They concentrated their search with the last pinged location, which was Naqualmie Valley Trail near Interstate 90, milepost 32 where they also searched the various areas where he was set to possibly be picked up. Unfortunately, even with all these efforts, he was still unable to be found. Unfortunately, after roughly 10 days, the search was called off. But of course, his family is still desperate for information. This case, unfortunately, did not get a lot of media attention, which I never think is fair. I do know a captain in the state of Washington. I've spoke of him before to you all. Wilderness Services Investigations who might be willing to put together a team to go out and look for this man. I wish if my health was better I could go out and join the team. Maybe if I do get a little better I can go out. Hopefully we can put more teams together to keep this search alive and go out and find this young man. If anyone is living in the area and is interested in volunteering, please contact me. I will let the various captains of the nonprofits in the area know that there's more people that want to get involved. If there was anybody in that area around that time of August 15th, please contact the Snoqualmie Police Department at 425-888-3333. These are again just more pictures of the area to give you an idea so you are more familiar with 
the area, so if you're possibly out and about or have any information that could help, that would be wonderful. Mo was six feet, one inches tall, about 155 pounds. He's got brown hair, brown eyes, scars on his eyebrows, was possibly wearing a green hoodie, gray pants, and dark colored shoes. Here is another picture of Mo. As you can see, very young, very good looking young man. He was an up and coming rising star, excited about going to school. What frustrates me about this case is that, yes, it did get some coverage, not as much coverage as many other cases. And I just want to make sure that his family gets the closure that they so deserve. I can't imagine what they're going through. They are asking for the public's help. Here are some more pictures of the area, the little side trail. This is an area where he went or thought to have last been seen. Here are some more pictures just of the general area. The authorities are asking if you have any canines or if you have any experience and would like to come out and help. See, this area is very vast. They believe that the area between the pings of his cell phone were almost four miles. So it is quite an extensive wooded, heavily thicketed area. This is a view of the area looking out. I do believe the commander of the Snoqualmie Police Department that is headed up this operation has done his best. He is a very great guy. He has put a lot into this. It's just sometimes you need more resources. It's hard to get them. They just, the funds aren't there. I want to dedicate this video to Muhammad E. Abraham, his family, his friends, all his loved ones, the Bellevue Police Department, the Snoqualmie Police Department, the Kings County Sheriff's Office, everybody who has worked so hard to find this young man. I will have all the information in the description as always if you'd like to help or if you have any information. I want to thank you all for watching as always. I really appreciate all your support. I'm sure all these families do as well. Special thank you to co.ag for providing the background music. Hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me to the end. I just want to say repeatedly, I know I've said this in other videos, I just appreciate you all sticking with me. I'm sorry that my voice sounds bad in some videos. You know, I have good days and bad days. I'm still going through this struggle, so I really appreciate you all sticking with me. I really, really do hope that I can get well enough to go out and help with some searches, even if it's in September or just whenever. I just, it just breaks my heart that I'm not able to go out there and assist with any of these searches. If any of you would like to volunteer, please let me know. We're always looking for more volunteers. Actually, all search and rescue all over the country always are. Circulating these stories and keeping them alive in the media and around the world helps because, yes, they're covered in the media, but that's just the media. It's not international. A lot of people don't see that. In any event, I am still doing this next coin giveaway. It is the Liberty coin that I've talked about. It finally came out, so I do have one. So if you'd like to be entered into the giveaway, just leave me a comment saying about a case you'd like me to talk about or anything else, feedback about the case. Of course, that you want to be entered into the coin giveaway as well. If you have any calendar submissions, my email for that will be in the description as always. If you want to donate to the channel, anything is appreciated. All my info is in the description as always. But even just leaving a comment, that just means the world to me. All right, everyone. So hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.